Hello and welcome to the Winter Gardens here at Duffy Park in Aberdeen. My name is Arthur Gell and I'm the Retreat and Training Officer which is part of the Duffy Park range of service here at the park. In this video we're going to show you how easy it is to, to plant a seed and to help it grow. The reason for the video is that in partnership with the Robert Gordon University we are taking part in the Fascination of Plant Plants event. Fascination of Plants aims to encourage more people to grow more plants all plants are important to us for food, construction and medicine, but also to help to improve our lifestyle through exercise of gardening or the pleasure of seeing the plants grow. Now what are the things that you need, need to help a plant grow? Well first of all, compost, important, nice and damp, water, sunshine that we've got today and you also need some water to put the seed into. The first one we're going to do today is a pepper seed. Now you could buy pepper seeds in a packet, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to grow it from an actual pepper. Now I've got a sharp knife here, so you will need to get a parent or an adult to help you with to cut up the pepper. So I'm going to cut up the pepper, and I'm going to try and scoop out all these white seeds that you can see in here. all the nice white seeds there. Okay, so what we need is a pot. So I'm going to use the stepper pot to drink. So we compost. Then we just put a seed in each of the little pots. Doesn't matter if you put two, in, two into the one uh, pot, you can easily change that to a later date. And then you can see seeds in the pot, and then you just get a light covering over the top of the seeds. Start them down slightly, not too much. And then we give them a good watering. We name them and the date and the date we planted. So this is pepper seeds and the date. And we'll put that in there. And what you need to do now do is to leave in a nice sunny warm place. So we're going to leave it up to the winter sail of one here for it to grow. Now they will take a few weeks to grow before they start to show, but they will come through. Because here are ones that we planted a couple of weeks ago. So what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer these out of this little pot into a slightly bigger pot. But you have to be really delicate in the way you do this. So first of all, we're going to get some compost in the pot. We're going to make a, a big hole in the middle for the seedling to grow. Now you do need to be careful when you're handling these. When you're handling it, try and hold it by the, the, the leaf, okay? Not by the roots or by the, the stem. So we'll lift it up, nice and gentle. Transfer it in and we'll make sure that the roots are all covered. And we'll just gently firm it down and some more compost just right away. It. Okay, and again some more water. And again, We'll leave that in a nice warm place for it to grow. So I can rest Just to make some of this mess here. Now, some other things you might want to plant is, is peas. The peas are lovely to eat. I, I really enjoy peas. And they're a lot easier to handle because they're slightly bigger. See, it's slightly bigger, 
and they're easily, easy, or easily handled. So here, let me a second, so you can see them. You can see them inside from comparison. Okay, a bigger pot this time. Now because the ground is starting to warm up, you could actually decide to plant them straight outside. They might take a bit longer than they would do inside, but there's no harm in putting them outside now. Okay, again just firm that down. So we're going to plant three into this pot. So just make a hole with your finger. Then you get three pieces pot and just cover them over again. Okay? Again, water. I'm naming peas and the date you planted. Okay, over right here. Now again, I'll show you a set of peas that we planted uh, just about a week ago. Now as the peas begin to grow, they will need to be staked up because they are grow quite tall. So what we do is we're just going to create a little pyramid for the peas to grow onto. Okay, there you go. It's all they'll need and just tie that to the top. As the peas grow, they will continue up that at the at the wood. Now, you might need to always want to plant vegetables. You might want to plant some flowers instead. So, just the same idea with, with the vegetables. We're just going to plant them in the same way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some sweet peas. Now, these are a lovely smelling flower. And again, they're a bigger seed, so they're easier to work with. As you can see, a nice big brown seed. Again, just plant them in about four to five inches apart. Cover the soil again, more, more compost. And watering again, all with water. Make sure, make sure that the, your plants and everything stay moist. Don't let them dry out, don't let the compost dry out. But also, not too wet either. So that's them all planted, and again that will take a couple of weeks for them to grow. And as the sweet peas, again, they will need something for them to grow up. So again, just put in some sticks for them able to grow up. Again, hopefully that should come through in a couple of weeks time.